What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone 3. And I'm going to go over the best perks and stuff you can be using right now as well. So let's get into it. Now, as everybody knows, Rebirth Island does return this next week, which will be amazing and I can't wait. But along with that, we're getting two new weapons at launch, the FJX Horus SMG and the new Moore's Sniper, which I believe is from Advanced Warfare. And during the mid-season update, we're going to get the new bow 27 assault rifle make sure you hit that sub button hit that like button and hit that noti bell so you don't miss a video on those when i come out with the loadouts for them now first we're going to go over the perk packages right now that you should be using now right now i'm running mountaineer irradiated quick fix and high alert or i'm running flex instead of high alert Mountaineer, you're just not going to take any fall damage from a certain distance, and it's kind of broken. And I can't wait to run this on Rebirth because Rebirth dropping in from Prison Roof without taking fall damage, it's going to be amazing. Irradiated will give you a lot of better outplay potential in the gas. And it's kind of broken right now, too, because as you plate, it'll just immediately start healing you inside of the gas, too. So a lot of outplay potential in the gas. Quick Fix makes that healing process even faster, obviously. And so that's why I'm running that there. And then obviously High Alert you want to know when an enemy's looking at you or flex here will help that audio hear your footsteps a lot a lot better and you know hear your enemies through walls and things like that but um i'm run mostly running high alert or flex for my tactical and lethals i'm running smokes or stems every single time either one of those and throwing knives saves you a ton of ammo especially for your smgs and short range fights or if you're running a uh, big map or uh sim texas help out a lot there too and a little underrated uh, lethal right now is the frag grenade i know if you throw this right on top of an enemy right now full plated i think it downs them and then uh two plates uh it downs them even if you get them get it relatively close so a little bit under underrated um uh, lethal weapon right there i'm going to start out with a couple bonus loadouts for you uh one weapon that i do think will make the absolute meta this next season will be the holger 26 and then a loadout for model warfare 2 that i just absolutely love to run every single time i use it is the tac 56 so we're going to give you those two don't run them together pair them with an smg that i'm going to give you here in a little bit but um, I love running these two uh, no matter what, but I do think that Holger really jumps up into the meta this next season. For that Holger 26, you want to go with the Zimmon Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Holger Factory Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Underbarrel, the Jack Glassless Optic, and the Ascent Lord Stock. I'll show this how you performs in the firing range here. It's just, there's not a lot of recoil on it, and it's just really, really solid. Then the TAC-56, I'm running that Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash. Now, a lot of people ask me why I run this particular muzzle instead of maybe something like the Spirit Fire Suppressor or something like that, because the Spirit Fire Suppressor does give you that extra bullet velocity and damage range, and it does help recoil control as well. So it's definitely a solid option, but the Compensated Flash muzzle obviously definitely decreases your bullet velocity, but it helps that vertical recoil quite a bit. Also, it decreases your ping, your ping on your enemy's minimap. So run either one of these completely up to you. Either one is a very solid option, but if you're gonna go with a little bit more vertical recoil control go with the zim 35 if you don't really want to run that suppressor this way your ping on the your enemy's mini map will last less time than it would with something like the jack bfb then i'm running that tundra pro barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 60 round mag and that jack glassless optic so those two you here in the firing range again very little recoil it's always had very little recoil in call of duty ever since model warfare 2 came out but uh love running this whenever i get a chance All right, so for my official top five, MCW, I'll leave at number five just to keep everyone happy here. But there's a blueprint coming, a rebirth anniversary blueprint coming for the MCW. If that tells us anything, the MCW is about to get another buff, and I think it jumps up to number one or number two here in the meta really soon. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it's already pretty good anyway. If they buff it at all, strictly because of that blueprint, look for it to be in the top three, top two even, in my opinion. So for that MCW, we're running that Zim 35 or the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, completely up to you. The Cyclone Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the Jack Glassless Optic, and the 60 Round Mag. Show this MCW to you here in the firing range. Just if this thing gets a buff, there is hardly any recoil on this thing. I've done so many videos on it and I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely number one if it gets any kind of damage buff again. And then I've got it paired with a Striker 9, which I do put it at number five overall when it comes to SMGs. Uh, Zim 35 Compensated Flash, the DR6 Handstop Underbarrel, the Jack Glassless Optic, the Lockman MK2 Light Stock, along with the 50 Round Drum. Then for this uh, Striker 9, I'll show you this to you here too. Very little recoil, very fast DTK, and very solid when it comes to uh, sniper support as well.
At number four overall, I have the Bruin along with that AMR9. Now, this is my number one when it comes to ranked. I enjoy an LMG with an a high TTK SMG when it comes to ranked. And the reason I have it at number four normally because it's just, this is a less aggressive build. So this is more for maintaining control, in my opinion, of a certain area, which is what you want to do kind of in ranked uh, when you're trying to, sur to survive and win and get that SR. So when I go ranked, I go LMG, SMG, and I'm usually going with the amr9 strictly because it has a longer range ttk than the rest of the smgs and then i like the bruin it's very little recoil high ttk and you can even run a 100 round mag with it if you wanted to just take off the 60 put up something else that controls the recoil even more completely up to you there but this is my number four overall so for that bruin we're going with the zima 35 or the spare fire suppressor completely up to you the horizon v2 barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 60 round mag and either the choreo eagles i 2.5 or that glassless optic so this to you here in the firing range very little recoil, high TZK. This is, I think, the best SM or LMG overall right now, not strictly, just strictly because of TTK and consistency. Then for the AMR9, this is a run and gun AMR9, but it's still very accurate. We're going with the Zima 35 compensated, the Regal Pro barrel, that DR6 handstop under barrel, 50 round mag, and whatever site makes you comfortable, but I'm going with the Jack Glasses Optic. So this one to you here in the firing range. Again, very, very accurate and very high TZK. Very solid sniper support too, if you put a longer barrel on this as well, along with that 100 round mag. So completely up to you there. For my number three overall, it's very tough between these top three because they're all really, really close together and very solid. Right now at number three, I've got the Ram 7. Ram 7 has a little bit more recoil when it comes to uh, these other two, but then with it, I've got the SMG, uh, the WSP9, which is very high TTK, a little bit slower fire rate than these other two. But um, again, both are very solid options. Again, you can mix and match any of these. These are gonna be great for anyone to use. Um, but again, this is my number three. So for this Ram, seven we're going with the vt7 spirit fire or the zima 35 uh xrk core mark 40 heavy barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel 60 round drum and the hvs 3.4 pad now if you want to you can add the jack bfb just remember that it does take off some bullet velocity um but that's completely up to you it does help that recoil quite a bit show this to you here guys in the firing range again ram 7 is 100 i think ram 7 is going to be your number one like aggressive AR for sure. And uh, so if you're running aggressive um, resurgence, those kinds of things, I think it's number one overall when it comes to aggressive. Then for this WSP9, we're going with the infiltrated integrated barrel, DR6 handstop under barrel, high grain rounds. Uh, I like the 50 round mag here, along with that WSP classic factory stock. If you don't need the stock, you want to run uh, a sight, jack glassless, or whatever makes you comfortable, any of those will do. Show this to you here in the firing range. Beautiful, high damage, very good sniper support as well, and uh, very accurate at range also. Then for my number two overall, I'm going with the Holger 556 along with the HRM9. Again, these number one and number twos are real, real close when it comes to uh, what is actually number one. So either of these is a great option. But the Holger 556 and the HRM9, they didn't feel as good to me this week as they did as these, this other one did. So that's kind of why I moved it. The Holger 556, I'm going with the Zima 35 compensated or the Spear Fire Suppressor, the Cryo 6 match barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip under barrel, the 40 round mag, and the Jack Glass Optic. I think maybe I'm just not as keen to the Holger 556 just strictly because of that 40 round mag. But again, the TTK is super high, so it kind of almost doesn't even matter. Then for this HRM9, Zim and 35 compensated again, uh, that Thorn 90 barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, the 50 round drum, along with the folding stock. So this two here in the firing range, very solid, pretty controllable recoil, but uh, real, real good up close. And then for my number one overall, I'm going with the SOA Subverter along with the Ram 9. Like I said, this one and the Holger loadout are very close together. I love them both. For that SOA Subverter, I'm going with the Zim of the Compensated Flash, the Dozer 90 Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 50 Round Drum, or and whatever site makes you comfortable, but I'm going with the Jack Glassless. Show this to you here in the firing range. Very low recoil, very high TTK. Just very, very good.
Then for the Ram 9, we're going with that Speedwave V5 short barrel, the DR6 hand stuff under barrel, the 50 round mag, the Haste XV grip tape, and the Recon Comb Comb. So there's two here in the firing range. This is uh, very, very solid up close. Uh, I'm loving this. Very, uh, very mobile as well. So very aggressive too. You can pair this with that Ram, that Ram 7 as well if you wanted to. Um, very solid option there. Let me know what you guys are running right now and what you guys like to run when it comes to loadouts. But um, this is my loadout, at least my top 10 before we hit Rebirth Island. Rebirth Island is going to be very dope. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss a video like this or like any of these. We'll see you in the next one.